So uh, that's uh, Dr. Um, Mutab Talha Akpena from Turkey. Hello, everyone. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank you to all the organization committee. Uh, it was very nice experiments for me. I am a Talha Akpunar. I am executive assistant of Tuba president. I am also a lecturer at Ankara Yildirim Beyazıt University. My department was management information systems. I am just working on artificial intelligence and smart systems already. Turkish Academy of Science is just starting from the very beginning of the second part of the 19th century, uh, that Ottoman times, which was Anjumani Danish. They were just advisory for the sultans of the Ottomans. And then it just revelations. Then at 1993, Tuba was established the capital city of the Turkey in Ankara, 1993. The creation of the Tuba epitomized a robust effort by the Turkish government to establish a formidable institution that will serve as an ambassador of Turkish science on the global stage. Tuba expanded its mission and influence over the subsequent years, recognized crucial roles of academic and research institutions in shaping the future. It began to encourage scientific research, disseminate knowledge, and facilitate scientific cooperation both the national and international levels. Furthermore, uh, Tuba committed itself to the task of selecting and acknowledging academicians for their significant contribution to the science. Uh, today, Tuba continues to make remarkable strides in its missions, effectively fostering an environment conductive to science, growth and development within the Turkey. Uh, Tuba has 10 different working groups. They were just focusing on their specific areas and they were just trying to preparing some specific reports and advisory documents for public and the government already. About the Turkey's science advice institutions, we can just say three main permanent community or institutions. The first one is the Scientific and the Technological Research Council of the Turkey, uh, which is known also TÜBİTAK. Uh, TÜBİTAK is an executive institution, especially in supporting scientific studies, and it has programs that support the sectors in terms of intensive technological projects. I just mentioned the TÜBA form an inter uh, in create network of scientific governance in Turkey. The organizational structure of the Turkish Academy of Science comprises three key authorities, uh, Academic Council, General Assembly, and also Tuba presidency. Another influential body in this domain, Science, Technology and Innovation Policies Board, uh, also established in 2016, uh, is chaired by the presidents of the Turkey. Its primary mission is to strategize and orchestrate the science, technology and innovation policies of the Turkey. I would like to just very summarize these three institutions. Uh, TÜBİTAK is going to be like very executive institutions. They are just funding the more practical projects or some things. TÜBA is very scientific institutions and also science, technology and innovation policy board is kind of very political institutions uh, in Turkey. I would like to also mention uh, SWOT analysis. I'm just continue to strengths. Uh, in Turkey, we have like nice government supports about the science. Uh, it's going to be nice, enjoy robust governmental patronage in the realm of scientific consultations. And also, we have really nice respected members in our communities, in our institutions. Also, robust legislations, the presence of all encompassing legislations pertaining to scientific advice, lends additional support to the system in Turkey. Activeness, uh, 
you can see we are in the Sri Lanka, so we are active, <laughs> and all the institutions are also active. And implementation surveillance mechanisms, a promising initiatives has been the establishment of performance assessment and monitoring systems. This is also working on all the universities by the Turkish governments. About the weakness, inability to attack qualified individuals to the academia, also the others' presentations, we just saw this kind of weakness. Conflict of interest, there is no clear conflict of interest statement by, signed by the advisor for each issues, but the guidelines for preventing conflict of interest are established by the science, technology, and innovation policies boards, and advi advisors also require to follow them. Uh, organizational management and other shortcomings resides in the governance of the science advisor organization, both of three institutions, and budget constraint is also all our economic problems. About the treats, uh, you know, the SWOT analysis includes like uh, external also factors, so I would like to just focus on these trees, all the, our external reasons and sources already. So asymmetric and political approach of international organization and some science academies, a supple concern for the scientific advisory inf infrastructure in Turkey stems from the possibility that all the ALEA, all European academies and might adopt an even or political influence approach. In the event that these organizations display biases or preferences for certain nations or policies, it may cast doubt on the naturality and trustworthiness of their scientific advice, unfortunately. And uncooperative attitude of the target collaborated countries, we really want to make some agreements or make some works with some other countries, but we can have some problems, political or some other issues. And ethical consideration is also very general treats and exod of, of uh, exodus of the qualified person from academia to private sector. It is also about money, I think, for current positions. About the opportunities, uh, Turkey is like a bridge in the three continent. You know, so geographical location at the intersection of three continents is one of the best are geopolitical positions. Support from the ESA and IIP, and thanks to, uh, I just would like to mention again, we had also symposium, and we get also lots of the supports, both of these uh, in international institutions. And Turkey has also potential to form partnership with globally reputed and benevolent science academies. We have more than 40 different bilateral agreement with other academies and digital technologies and infrastructures also has mentioned today. I just want to be mentioned international, maybe we can just write also internationalizing, internationalizing scientific advice because as I said before, the half part of the SWOT analysis, we should mention all external reasons and external resource. So academic dependence varies across countries as some nations strive to adopt and enforce their national legislation and regulation to align with those other countries. It is essential to acknowledge that each country has distinct cultural differences and unique constitutional and political position concerning international affairs. So we respect the sovereignty of other countries and their involvement in both domestic and international matters. Secondly, academic freedom should not be entangled in the political issues of other nations. It is a separate domain. So our relationships with international academies should be built upon the foundation of academic while freedom while recognizing diverse management and legislative approach employed by different academies worldwide. Last but not the least, international umbrella organizations such as ICG, ASA, ALEA, and AIP offer support to academicians and to facilitate various events. However, it is important to ensure that their support and the position are not misused to exert undue influence or pressure on other national academies. 
each country has its own regional and international relationship that need to be respected. So, while recognizing and appreciating the diversity of the academic systems and approach, it is crucial to establish relationships based on academic freedom. We should engage with international academies from all corners of the world while respecting the sovereignty and unique circumstances of each country and their relationships with neighboring and the third party nations. So thank you very much. And this is our buildings in Istanbul and also it was a historical building. We are always welcoming you in Istanbul and in Turkey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.